talk to you earlier with your, your hairdressing scenario. So I think the hairdressing scenario is a great example. Again, I uh, yeah, keep using it because what can't, uh, there's a, a lot, lots of films on this call. And what is obvious to us and what comes naturally to us in terms of looking at the numbers and things we can see isn't always obvious to the client. Uh, and I was talking to a, a really successful marketing agency this week. Uh, I was having a conversation with Paul and, and we were talking about the challenges. And I said, you know, what are the challenges? And he said, it's not always about numbers. And I said, so what's your biggest challenge at the moment? So, our internal marketing is awful. I said, you're a marketing agency. You know, normally a hairdresser has the worst hair regard and has the worst garden. And, you know, marketing agencies tend to do their own internal marketing accordingly. And he said, marketing, I said, but why is, but why is that a challenge? And they turned around to me and said to me, look, the, the challenge is, you know, we aren't doing marketing, we're not generating more work from our marketing, and that's a challenge. I said, what's your other challenge? They said, well, staffing, we've got so much work coming in uh, that we don't actually know how to handle it, or we haven't got enough staff to do it. So I looked at them and I said to them, why do you need to do more marketing? <laughs> and they said, what are you talking about? I said, well, if you sort out your internal marketing and, and you've got your marketing about generating more work, you're going to add to the bigger problem you've got, and then I'm going to set that uh, and, and it's, it's obvious, but what comes obvious to us by looking at it saying, well, listen, your problem is not bringing in more work, work's coming, it's resourcing and staffing it up. But that is something that we be able to see and look with a helicopter view with a fresh pair of eyes. And what comes naturally to us, looking at the numbers and translating them, doesn't always come naturally and, and is not always obvious to those business owners. So it's all about looking at the numbers, seeing what they need, but putting some real value into those numbers and helping them translate into real business actions when moving forward. Yeah, I think that's something that doesn't necessarily either come, always come naturally to, yeah. you know, to, to accountants either. 